Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello everyone and welcome back to Defemerembera. Today's prompt is vintage meets modern. So look, I'm just flicking through what I made in the end. I really couldn't decide today. So I did this big flip out and I did mean to put writing pages on the back of those gel prints, but yeah, I forgot to do that. <laughs> anyway, so I did this big flip out. I did the collage picture and then I also did these little bookmarks. So, oh, by the way, hosted by Louise Heinzel and Barbara. They are so talented. Check out their links below in the description. So I have these wonderful dictionary pages that I have collaged over some napkins, some serviettes, so paper serviettes. And thank you so much, Kathy, for your video on how we did that. It was just wonderful. I'll make sure I link beautiful Kathy below. But anyway, all I do is I've cut up some packaging just in the shape of a bookmark, you know, or this these ones just are a basic rectangle shape. I am simply wrapping around the uh, dictionary page just to cover them. And then voila, you've got a bookmark base. So sometimes I do a few of these just for whenever I need them because bookmarks are such an easy thing to pop in your journals. They're like the uh, writing board that I did yesterday. Sort of every journal should have a little bookmark in it. You know, a nice little handmade bookmark that people can mark their places in. But yes, these are very easy to make up and I tend to ink the edges and when you're gluing them down, you can just glue them at the top and bottom. However, I really like gluing all over. So I do it with my glue stick. I sort of hold it to the light to see, you'll see the shine of the glue. So I hold it to the light to make sure that I've actually got it over the whole surface and then you get a really good stick. So it really adheres to the paper very, very well. All right, now here's the fun bit. Found an old ad for millinery and it was from an Australian book. So who knows, one of my mum's hats could have been one of these. Anyway, they were on. And then I also cut out these little people just through a magazine that I have. You know, a little bit of cute fun. So <laughs> that's my vintage mix with modern, you know, modern uh, dresses. I was going to do paper dolls and that just got too complex. <laughs> so <laughs> I went more simple. Now, look, I just did really simple tab toppers on these. I do these tab toppers where I just do a square piece of paper. I hole punch it through and, you know, it's just a slightly different look and I quite like them. So they, you know, work with all different things. But sometimes just the old-fashioned square tab topper with a hole punch, love it. All right, took me a little while to work out how to do them on the back. I started out the first one, and I do love this. So I just cut a piece of, what do you call it, newspaper print paper. I've got a pad of newspaper print paper. So I cut around my first little doll, we'll call them dolls, and you know, then ink to the edge of that and then just pop some papers behind it. Now, truly love that. But, you know, I got bored. <laughs> I'd done a lot of fussy cutting by now. And I must say, I am not a fussy cut fan. I have been known to buy fussy cuts from Etsy just because I really can't be bothered <laughs> sitting and cutting them out. I know some people love it. I am not one of those people. I mean, I do a lot of fussy cutting because we kind of have to, but uh, yeah, so there you go. There's my little confession. <laughs> so after that, I just did straight strips behind them and truly they work just fine. I did a little bit along the bottom so that their feet looked like they were sort of sitting on something and that's all. So it's just layering up. It's just a collage. Like it's just a really tiny collage. And in fact, if you're nervous about collaging, there they are. They're all finished. I think they were a bit cute, actually. But if you're nervous about collaging, go small. 
All right, now the next one. We're breezing through this because, as I say, I couldn't make up my mind. So I ended up doing a few things together. So this is I cut out some little holes to add some modern touches to a vintage picture. So I put a little slit there that I could put some different flowers in the pot, you know, cut out some holes behind the pictures to put some new pictures on, just stuck that on top. It's just one of those, uh, I can't think of the name, but you know, those cartoony modern things. And that's a lovely big cocktail glass that I actually cut down a bit. And look, instead of a doggy sitting beside the chair, you've got a mobile phone with a dog picture on it sitting beside the chair. So there you are. I thought that works. That'll do. Put play on it because really I was just playing about and I just have backed it onto card and then on the back of the card just to give it a finish I've put uh, one of my gel prints on the back. So voila all done all done as my son always says. Um, okay so then I had a mix of vintage pictures and modern pictures so I backed each of those as well my intention was to put writing paper on them too but I completely forgot now to do this properly again you should glue them completely over the whole page I'm going to cut these down once I've glued them all down but yeah to do it properly you should glue across the whole page and then you should put them under weight and anything you put under weight, preferably overnight, but even, you know, just half an hour can make a big difference and it will just really help it stick down. So, oh yeah, and then on the base, which ended up being the base, I didn't know this at the time, but on the base, I put this vintage girl over a modern picture of a girl. And so that just, you know, seemed to work together. Now, once I stuck them all down, I then went through from the first to the last because, you know, the glue had sort of dried by then and I tore them down. So I tore down the edges. I didn't do them exactly the same size. I did some smaller, some larger and on one edge of each of them, except for the very last base where I had the two vintage and modern ladies, I made a tab so that then I could fold them in on each other. So you know like how we do those envelope higgledy-piggledy folding on each other things? That's what just I had in my head for this. So, and I had all sorts of other ambitions. They didn't come to fruition, <laughs> which is kind of lucky because the video would have been like four years long. You might have been here next if I above watching it. It would have been so long. Uh, anyway, yeah, vintage and modern. I just love these mixes. However, because I blur those lines so much, I did find it really hard to differentiate it, if that makes sense. So I did find it hard to be more conscientious or more intentional about mixing the two so that you could kind of see it. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of thinking went into that this one, which is why I ended up with so many things. So yeah, I just had the tabs coming off different sides. I had a couple, one flip down from the top, one flip down from the side, a couple from the left, and these are really fun. Sometimes I do these with nothing more than plain note paper, and it's just a really fun, different, fun way to do a notepad. So that my friends, is all of my creations that I came up today. There's a little sneak peek into Jen's creative mind that tends to come up with all sorts of things and you kind of see the end result sometimes. But yeah, sometimes I'm just plain about making stuff that isn't stuff and, <laughs> and voila, we're done. All right, so finally I put a pocket on the other side. I just, you know, put some dictionary pages down again and came across Harmony and in this dictionary on Harmony it had this little piece from Vaughan Williams talking about double something or other so doing that in honour of my father he's a bit of a Vaughan Williams fan who can blame him really and then I had something to put my little bookmarks in and on the other side 
I put down my little vintage flippy, flappy, collagey thing. <laughs> and I love how these look together. So that wraps up today and just in time, J-Bear's just come to join me and he just came in and went, all done, as he does. So there you are, some little bookmarks and a big flippy flappy thing. Mm -hmm. All gone. <laughs> so he's had enough of mum doing all this extra creating around Christmas time. Uh, but, gee, we're having fun. We went down to the river yesterday and had a wonderful time. And his big brother was off school as well, so that was really lovely to be down there with both of them. Had a fabulous time. I hope you're all enjoying watching all the Defemerembera videos like I am. It's really been wonderful because, gee, I've struggled with the prompts this year, but it's been good for me because it's really helped me just get back into the mojo again. Enjoy everyone and I'll see you, goodness, next week now. Amazing. Take care. I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.